Greetings, Blender Sculptors! Inevitably, while sculpting away on the program, we hit a performance wall as we get more and more detailed. This can be really frustrating when your strokes and viewport start to lag. Blender is a lot more reliant on your system's hardware than other sculpting programs like ZBrush, so at what point you experience lag may vary. However, there are a few tricks I've come across to improve performance without losing the quality of your sculpt. Let's take a look. Sometimes you will be sculpting on objects with a mirror modifier assigned, like eyes and ears. While sculpting on those, each brush stroke is assigned to the mirrored one too, before you can create the next stroke. This gets more noticeable as we get to the higher resolutions. If we go to options, use deform only, we will only see the original object while sculpting, which improves performance, but once we go to the object mode, we can still see the mirror. Viewport anti-aliasing is a good setting to look at next. Go to Edit Preferences, Viewport, then under Quality, Viewport anti-aliasing. Setting this to no anti-aliasing will of course give you the best results, but your model can look a little rough. I like to keep this at 5 samples to strike a balance with the model looking nice, but also increasing viewport performance. Once we get some of our objects to a near finished state, they will likely have a high resolution. Adding a decimate modifier and reducing the density of these objects will maintain the object's shape while also bringing back your great performing viewport. Grab the Sculpt Pies add-on to do this really fast. Decimate by half using a handy pie menu so you don't break your sculpting flow. As we notice the viewport and strokes getting laggy, decimate a few objects and get back to sculpting with good performance. If you need to continue work on them later, you can just remesh back to a higher density. This isn't an issue unless you decimate too much in my experience. What do you think about Blender's sculpting performance? I'd love to hear about some of your own tips too. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and to get more involved, join a community of creators just like me making characters in Blender over on Discord. Check out the invite in the description. The Dwarf Rider featured in this video is available to download on Gumroad. And if you want it for free, along with loads of other minis, plus early access to content like this, join my Patreon, just like these guys did. Thanks again for your continued support. Recently, the channel was fully demonetized over an invalid traffic issue, so your support is valued more than ever. And I'll see you all in the next video.